The reason why changing your diet or practicing yoga can help your tinnitus go quiet, even when you have damaged nerves, is because your activation in your nervous system comes down. It sounds implausible, but in Joseph Rauschecker's very helpful video, where he shows very clearly the limbic system's nucleus accumbens as the part of the nervous system that fires up the emergency response, which causes the ventromedial prefrontal cortex of the auditory system to become super sensitive and listening out for danger. He's shown very clearly that this part of the limbic system fires up the hearing sensitivity and that's what causes us to be listening out far too acutely for danger. Hence, what I've been saying for a while now, fight or flight hearing. When you feel safe, calm and settled, this whole firing up and activating of your auditory system calms right down. So if you're playing guitar or if you're having a lovely time with friends or if you're having a deeply calming, soothing cranial session or you have some experience that makes you feel very, very well, well in yourself, your hearing can stop listening out for danger and your hypersensitivity gets down-regulated back to normal. It's very important to understand that the main driving force behind tinnitus is the sense of threat or fear. There's something in you that feels unsafe, which is firing up your nerves. But this can switch off completely. You know, you can feel safe, calm and relaxed. You can actually come right out of this. Every week I experience people who come in and say, oh, last week I had three or four days of total silence and the other few days it was very quiet. And I work with people for a few months and then they come back years later and say, oh yeah, my tinnitus went away, can you sort my back out? This isn't a miracle, this isn't unusual. It's just that they've got on with their lives, their mind's gone on to other things, they're no longer feeling afraid or threatened, and their nervous system comes back into a state of peacetime. When I damaged my nerves walking in front of a loudspeaker, I became deaf. I'm now severely deaf in this ear. I have to lip read. I can't get that back. And I also developed quite bad tinnitus again, second time round, it took me six weeks of massively taking my mind off the tinnitus through body work, strong massages of my own body on the floor, stretching, yoga, tai chi, lots of cranial work, but I got there and this nerve damage tinnitus backed off. So if you damage your nerves, it, you can still let go of the residual oh, activation. I was watching a documentary last night and this TV presenter was put into a completely soundproof room and she said, oh, it feels a bit scary and a bit threatening in here. My ears feel a bit uh, sort of clothed over and, and this is normal in a completely silent room to, for your ears to become slightly stressed out. So we're all incredibly sensitive and our hearing's very, very changeable. And even if you damage your ears with a, with a loud explosion, or you've bashed your head from a motorcycle accident, or you've gone through a horrific divorce and you've been living in terror for months and months and months, feeling deeply unsettled, or you're moving house, um, or something awful is going on in your life, it's completely understandable why tinnitus can flare up in these times because your nucleus accumbens is going, danger, danger, listen, listen out for danger. And your auditory cortex is going bananas and you're hearing far too much. This is scientifically proven now. Look at Joseph Rauschecker's video. There's only one thing I protect you against is when he says there's no cure for tinnitus, please just put your fingers in your ears and disregard that because the crucial thing, the missing piece in this brilliant work is helping people feel safe. How can you feel safe? If you've got major issues in your life, you need to sort them out. 
if you've got unprocessed baggage, sort it out and open it up in therapy. There are amazing therapists all over the world who can help you open up, release and let go of your stuff. There are millions of brilliant hands-on therapists who can calm and settle your system down. Reflexologists, cranial osteopaths, cranial sacral therapists, shiatsu practitioners. In most parts of the world, you can find really fantastic healing hands-on therapists to help settle your nervous system. Because at the end of the day, what you're looking for is to feel calm, safe and relaxed. The buzzy charge that's left in your auditory system, you can actually palpate this. After thousands of hours of work experience, hands-on practitioners like me, when you spend thousands of hours palpating the buzzy charge inside the, the temple area and the cranial base, this whole area with tinnitus people gets tight, highly charged, and all the tissues feel very, very blocked and reactive. If you have hands-on work to open everything up and help things settle physically, physiologically, structurally, this affects the hormones, this affects the nervous system, everything can free up, settle, calm down and feel much, much more comfortable. So this is why having a cold bath is good for you because it's a very strong tonic for your nervous system. It's going to override the tinnitus, this powerful, calming tonic to your nervous system, which can really settle you. Um, that can be hugely helpful. Fasting can be very helpful because after two or three days, your body changes state and your fight or flight system settles down. So it sounds implausible that yoga can heal your tinnitus, but actually, it can, and the reason it can is because you're taking the mind off your ringing, settling and grounding yourself in the body, helping the nervous system feel safe. And for God's sake, your headspace, please be careful what you expose your mind to, because if you're listening to people saying there's no cure, um, you may believe it. And these clumps of stuck people that you see on the internet are still not better. But all the other people who are better don't go on the internet. They don't traumatize themselves with all this doom and gloom and drama and awfulness. You know, it's awful having tinnitus. I know what it's like, but don't believe that the stuck clumps of really stressed out people um, is the way it is, because it's not. It's just the people who still haven't let go of the tinnitus. And these negative mindsets are the hardest things to change in people. So once you understand that the physiology of this can change dramatically, then, and you start to experience your tinnitus coming down, that first you're letting go, but actually you can go on to make a complete cure. Silence in a quiet room.